yet. No, girl, they late today. Well, looking at hefty bags is not my idea of a beautiful view. Oh, I don't know. Those bags mean we had food on the table last night. We should be grateful. I'll be grateful when they get the food off the street. <laughs> Cats around here think it's restaurant rolls. <laughs> Mary, you got to have patience. I'd rather have hot water. <laughs> Do you know the shower turned ice cold again today? Yeah, same as mine. Well, I'm sure Conway just hasn't had time to fix the heater. Hmm. Time means money. And our landlord is so stingy. Not only has he got the first penny he ever made, he got it taped to his navel. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies. Oh, afternoon, Ken. Off to school, huh? Yes, English literature today. America. I love it here. They even give wrap the garbage. <laughs> you can tell he ain't been here long. <laughs> but getting back to Callaway. He ain't gonna fix nothing in this building. The Hernandez refrigerator been leaking since Lord knows how long. Yeah, and I heard the O'Briens had another crack in their living room wall. Girl. <laughs> I heard the O'Briens got a crack in their marriage. No! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. They just celebrated their silver anniversary. Well, I can tell you one thing, they ain't going for the gold. <laughs> Callaway ain't got no crack in his apartment, though. He keeps everything in tip-top shape. The rich show get richer, don't they? Show sure do. Like them fine folks across the street, our condo colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this neighborhood's getting mighty fancy. Girl, look at the size of that limo just pulling up. Mm, ain't that nothing? <laughs> I hear they come with a bar and a TV. Uh, don't forget the telephone. Yeah, if the one in the back calls the chauffeur. It's, it's long distance. <laughs> Peacock. Mm, if he don't think he's a dough man. <laughs> In that uniform, probably thinks he's a South American general. <laughs> Hi, Louis! <laughs> Lady. <laughs> you home early, Sandra? My boss let me off. I have a severe headache. <laughs> agency you work for do you see many celebrities i'm the receptionist i see them all <gasps> and they see all of her <laughs> as a working woman my time is too valuable to waste around here how's mr calloway i wouldn't know he has his apartment and i have mine our relationship is purely platonic oh is that your platonic ring <laughs> Excuse me, my headache seems to be getting worse. <laughs> Girl, you got the devil in you! Oh, she makes me sick. <laughs> she sure loves to flaunt it. Don't you wish you had it? Girl, you know what they call women like that. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> She's the reason nothing gets fixed around here. Instead of spending money on this building, Callaway throws it away on her, and we end up with nothing. You like to shape your apartments in? Of course not. That's why I sit right here looking the other way. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Mr. Callaway said he's going to get things done. Now, the other day when I took in that soup, what? He took... You took that old bus some soup. <laughs> Always bringing my leftovers. Hot soup, apple pie. You know he loves my homemade fudge. Well, Mary, he's got no one to cook for him. But what does Sandra do? Shake and bake? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sweet.
sweetheart. How you doing? How was school today? Fine. Yeah? Are you smarter today than you were yesterday? Yeah. So I'm not going back tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding, Mom. Oh, hi, Mama. Uh, Jason is coming. Uh, Jason is coming. <laughs> Just what in the world is going on? Oh, hi, Mr. Jenkins. Calvin Dobbs, is that you in there? <laughs> have you gone crazy, boy? Uh, yes, ma'am, I think I have. <laughs> I mean, it has been kind of hot lately. <laughs> Calvin was just carrying my books for me. Let me put these away and we can go. And just where do you think you're going, young lady? Just over to the park, Mama. Calvin wants to show me where he goes when he wants to think about things. Huh. Must be a very small place. <laughs> Maybe I ought to do this some other time. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Jenkins. When he's hot. That boy is 16 and you're barely 14. So when I'm 20, you'll be 22. Fine. Call him then. <laughs> Can't do nothing around here. Did you have something to say? <laughs> Mama, can I go get an ice cream cone? Oh, sure, honey. Here's a quarter. Rose, are you crazy? You gonna give that child a quarter for some ice cream? You right. Here's 50 cents. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. OK, bye-bye. I'm telling you, Rose, you spoiling that child. You should never let her have ice cream before she does her homework. Mary, I don't see why that does any harm. It creates bad habits. That's what it does. Do you know what your problem is? You expect everybody to be just like you. Perfect. Oh! Mm. Is that what my problem is? <laughs> OK. <laughs> See that? That's what I get for trying to be good friends. From now on, I'll just sit right over here and tend to my own business. And I'll sit right over here and tend to mine. Fine. Good. Great. Wonderful. <laughs> I won't even tell you about Fred Anderson. <laughs> Coming home late last night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, you know that was a sin and a shame. You know, last week... We well, the garbage truck finally got here. Well, it's about time. Hey, why don't y'all spend more time working and less time on coffee breaks? Did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> and they weren't saying we are number one either. <laughs> That's a fifth quarter I put in. This thing is worse than the slot machines in Las Vegas. <laughs> I keep telling you all you're wasting your time. What we need down here is some new washing machines. Well, I guess so. These are so old, it takes Confederate money to run them. <laughs> now, I say we don't take this line down. I say we do something. Mary, what are you talking about? I'm talking about action. That's what I'm talking about. We don't have to stand for this. Mary, if you're finished, could you come down off your soapbox long enough to fix your family some dinner? Honey, I hear you, but you know as well as we do that this building's got a lot of violations that Callaway has not taken care of. Now, I say we get a city inspector down here and show him that we mean business. Mary, you're only gonna make things worse. Listen to your husband, Mary. He's the voice of calm in a rough sea. <laughs> when I want a poetry reading, Rose, I will ask you. <laughs> say we fight fire with fire. Right. Go right ahead. <laughs> if you like hitting the man when he's down. What do you mean when he's down? I just took Mr. Calloway to the hospital. Oh, the poor man. The poor man, my foot. <laughs> Here we go again. Every time we put pressure on this man, he pulls the same old sick routine. Mm -hmm. Remember when we invited him to the tenants' meeting and he came down with the flu? Oh. <laughs> Mary. The man happens to be in critical condition. His heart's not beating regular. They got him on oxygen. A fairy tale, folks. <laughs> come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. Wait a go. minute, honey. Don't listen to this woman. She is just trying to protect his money. As the Lord is my witness, it is a fake. No way is that man sick. That sure was a lovely funeral, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Calloway looks so peaceful. Well, of course he looked peaceful, Rose. He was dead. But he looked good, though, didn't he? Well, see, that's what they do. They plump you up so you look real good. <laughs> Remember how good Hattie Brown looked when she died? Yeah. And you know she was the ugliest woman on God's <laughs> Oh, but she was beautiful on the inside. That's all that mattered. 
Oh, now that Mr. Calloway's gone, I'm glad I took him that hot soup, apple pie, and homemade fudge. The funeral is over, Rose. Could you please stop talking about it? I'd like to forget it. Oh, you finally admitting he ain't faking it? <laughs> All I know is that me and Calloway didn't get along, and he'd do anything to prove me wrong. <laughs> Aren't you sorry now for all the things you said about him? Well, of course I'm sorry, Rose. Oh, here comes Louie. Probably wants to pay his respects. Well, what's he paying him nurse for? We ain't related to the deceased. <laughs> uh, it was such a shock, Mr. Calloway, dying so suddenly. Yes, it was. Uh, did he die of anything uh, serious? <laughs> He stopped breathing. Well, it's, it's a shame. Uh, how is his lady friend taking it? What lady? Oh, I'm sure she's taking it real hard. You know, Louis, she hasn't been out of that apartment since the funeral. Oh, well, uh, when I uh, finish work, I would like to offer her my condolences. <laughs> uh, do you know if uh, she's uh, accepting visitors? Well, if you're a man, I'd say you got a pretty good shot. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I qualify. <laughs> Mary, how can you talk about Sandra that way? I'm sure this whole thing is just, just tearing her to pieces. <laughs> oh, hi, Sandra. How you feeling, honey? As well as could be expected. Well, just remember, time heals all wounds. I know, I know. I'm just trying to hold myself together. <laughs> well, you got on the right dress for it. Excuse me, Rose. Have to go. I understand. You want to be alone with your thoughts? No, I'm going shopping. <laughs> Nothing like buying a few new things to shake the blues. <laughs> Tearing her to pieces, huh? <laughs> In mourning, huh? She was dressed in black. Yeah, first time I ever saw a black armband used as a skirt. <laughs> you know, the thing that worries me is what's gonna happen to this building now? And where do we stand? Haven't you heard? What? what? <laughs> the word is, Callaway left the building to one of the tenants. Three guesses as to who. <laughs> Sandra? Oh, you know what that means. What? You heard that expression, up a creek without a paddle? Yeah. The way you and Sandra get along, you won't even have a canoe. <laughs> One bedroom, $1,100. Two bedrooms, $1,500. $1,500? I told Brenda by staying on that telephone. Oh, Lester. Do you know how much rents are in this city, honey? I only help build them, baby. I don't get to rent them. Well, I can tell you it'd be cheaper to buy an undeveloped nation. <laughs> Look at this. That is something. But tell me, why are you looking at ads for apartments? Well, honey, I figured if we're going to pay 25 cents for a paper, I'm going to read it all. <laughs> OK, Mary, what kind of trouble we in now? Trouble? Did I say anything about trouble? May have to move out of 227. But... Move? What'd you do now? Me? <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I mean, it's not my fault Calloway died. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> but word is he left this building to Sandra. The entire building? Everything? What do you think about that? Wow. She must be some kind of woman. <laughs> Out. Now, come on, what I mean? Come oh, on, yeah, cool yeah. down, cool down. <laughs> cool down, nothing. Can you imagine what'll happen if that woman gets a hold of this building? Maybe you're jumping the gun. Even if she does get the building, you don't know what she has planned. I mean, we pay the rent, we're good tenants, and she has nothing against me. Well, she hates me. <laughs> well, then, only you have to move. <laughs> Look, I was just kidding, baby. I think we ought to find out what she has in mind, you know. Play up to her, fill her out. She's not my type. <laughs> Look, just be nice to her. That floozy. OK, I'll be glad to talk to her. Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> I'll talk to her. All right, then you do that. But remember, be nice. 
Mom, Dad, I have company. <laughs> you girls finish your homework? Yep, and you know what? I thought I just might make dinner tonight. You deserve a break. <laughs> <laughs> you being awfully nice, young lady. Now, just what is it you're gonna ask me that I'm not gonna like that you're gonna die if I don't do? <laughs> well, we just want to know if we could go to the movies tonight. On a school night? Did Rose say you could go? She said it was all right with her if it was all right with you. And please, Miss Jenkins, it's with Eddie Murphy. Oh, Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, that's all I ever hear. Daddy! Mary! Lester? Sorry. <laughs> and I guess you thought you were gonna meet Calvin there. Well, why would you say that? Oh, just a wild thought. Now, no movies on school nights, and that's final. <sighs> Told you wouldn't work. Well, you set it up wrong. <laughs> Hi, Mary. I think your clothes are ready. Oh, thank you, Cora. Hi, Sandra. I was just thinking about you. Really? <laughs> yes, I was wondering how you've been holding up. Not bad. But I'm sure after the will reading on Saturday, I'll be feeling a whole lot better. <laughs> you know something? We see each other all the time, and we never get to talk. Oh, yes, talking. That is your specialty. <laughs> I thought you had your clothes dry clean. Oh, I do. But I don't like just anyone to touch my underwear. Don't say huh. it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mary, uh, looks like I'm going to be getting myself a brand new wardrobe, so maybe you can use some of my old clothes. No, thank you. Yeah, with my clothes and the right makeup, a hair weave, some new pantyhose, you probably could look halfway decent. You know, Sandra, for all our fussing back and forth, I bet if we tried, we could be just like sisters. You think so? Oh, sure. I've always wanted an older sister. <laughs> Mary, were you fixing to tell me something or ask me something or just beg? I was trying to be nice to you, but I can see that isn't any good. You're just out for what you can get and anybody you can get it from. Oh, go ahead, Mary. Talk all you want, but you better do all your talking now because when I become the owner of this building, there are going to be a lot of changes around here. Your lease is up in November, isn't it? If you got a point, make it. The point is there are going to be rent raises, okay? So come November, you better get your checkbook ready for a big shock. Is that so? You want me to tell you where you can put your rent raises? You know your problem, Mary. You just don't have enough coof. That's why I'm thinking of maybe going condo. <laughs> Get a better class of people in here. I'm glad to hear it. When are you moving? <laughs> Mary, I've taken a lot of stuff from you, but a new day is coming, and I'm sitting in the right chair. And if you don't like it, you can move your flapping mouth somewhere else. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I was here when you came, baby, and I will be here when you're gone. Now, you can threaten me until your face turns the color of that cheap lipstick you wear. <laughs> but nobody, and I do mean nobody, is forcing me out of my home. Oh, and as long as you're doing a wash, sugar, why don't you throw your wig in? It's getting kind of dusty. <laughs> Mary, where have you been? They're about to read the will. I was talking to the building inspector. He's almost finished. You call the building inspector? Oh, I don't think that's such a good idea. That might be a, a lot of trouble. Trust me, Rose. Oh. Well, if uh, everyone's here, perhaps we ought to get started. I don't see Sandra. Oh, she'll be here. Probably looking for one of our eyelashes. Oh, will you sit <laughs> I had to stop off at the bank and open a new account. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any seats left. <laughs> Thank you, Lester. Uh, 
This document shall serve to rightfully bequeath all existing holdings, properties, and monies of Herbert Calloway, herewith known as the party of the first part, and subsequently as the owner in reference to said properties under Article 7, Paragraph 3. What did he say? I don't know. He's probably getting paid by the word. <laughs> Excuse me. But can we skip all this legal parties and get down to the nitty-gritty? <laughs> Am I getting anything? <laughs> Down, Pearl. Why would Callaway leave you anything? Cause I'm old and I want something. <laughs> this time of sorrow is painful for all of us. Can we move it along? The quicker we get this over with, the better. Probably what she used to tell Callaway. <laughs> It's a simple will, so let's continue. 227 has been more like a home to me instead of just a piece of property. I will the deed in complete control to a woman whom I've come to admire over the years, someone I could always count on for a smile or a good word, even perhaps when I didn't deserve it. Thoughtful, <laughs> kind, sweet, yet playful and lively. Although some of you may question my judgment in this decision, all I can say is, Hey, it's my building, not yours. <laughs> I, therefore, with a clear conscience, leave 227, lock, stock, and barrel to the woman who makes the best apple pie I've ever tasted. Apple pie? <laughs> we never used apple pie. <laughs> Mrs. Rose Lee Holloway. Oh, oh the shoe! Oh, Rose, you're rich! Oh, what? What did you say? It says Mrs. Rose Lee Holloway. What about me? Didn't I get anything? Are you Sandra Clark? Yes! Well, now, there is something. He left you this portrait of himself, and I think it's just luck. <laughs> Congratulations, Rose. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I have to go to my apartment to decide just where I want to put this portrait. <laughs> I don't know what to say, Mary. I don't know what to say. You are property owner, child. Oh. You know what a gold mine you just inherited? The money's gonna be just Oh, I've never owned anything before. I don't know if I can handle it. Girl, relax. You got me for a friend. I'll help you. Oh, excuse me, uh, Mrs. Jenkins. I finished inspecting the building, and you were right. It's a doozy. It'll take a bundle to fix up this place. Does the owner happen to be here? 